Hello there, my mate Vince here, and in this video today we're going to try to fix up a PlayStation 2. I bought it from eBay and it says no power. And brilliant news, there is no power on it. I say that because I've just took out two Sega Master Systems that I was hoping to do in a video. Both bought as faulty, both working perfectly. Urgh. Anyway, if you have a look at this one here, you can see that there is no sign of life whatsoever. When I press the button here, there's no LED lighting up. There's nothing happening at all and my leads and everything are okay because I've got another PlayStation 2 Slim here. This is a slim version, that's why it's nice and small. And if you have a look here, when I plug it in here and here and turn it on, you will see that this one will come to life. Yep, and it will come up on the screen there. So let's take this one apart and find out why it's got no power whatsoever. Hopefully it's gonna be an interesting one. Now I should be fine working on this because it's got an external brick, so it's low voltage coming into here. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking it apart and seeing whether or not we're getting voltage coming into it. Maybe we can see something obvious on the inside. It's not going to be a thing to do with the switch here because when we plug it in, there's not even a red light there. So it'd be different if there was a red light and it wouldn't turn on. Maybe it would be the switch, but obviously there's something wrong, I think, with the power supply. It's been opened before because I can see that the tamper-proof thing here has got void written across it. So, uh, yeah, it looks like an attempt might have already been made on it. Okay, from memory, I think you pop these out and, uh, or is it these? Yeah, here we go. Pop these out and there's screws underneath them. Missing a couple of feet here and here, but they're just the rubber feet. Here we go, nice and easy. Right now. Well, a little bit dusty and stuff, but I think it looks okay. So I suppose we need to get down to this jack area here and see what's happening. and do the screw here. There we go. Oh right, we have this little there. Uh, let's pop out this ribbon cable. So this is for the oh, so this is for the on and off button here. So really I'm gonna need that on. Well I, I won't worry about it yet but I need to plug that in so I can see the LED light up. Right now what's going on here? See anything? So this is the yellow jack where it comes in and often it's center pin positive. So let's just have a look here and see if it is. So we got the center pin positive because it shows you here that this is the outer pin and it's negative and the center pin is positive. So I presume that these two bits here are gonna be the outer. So this is gonna be the negative. And can you see here, this is the positive and have a look at that. It's completely broken away from the board here. So power's not getting into it. So if we get the multimeter and go between the middle pin, we'll have it coming up here, but we won't have it coming up on the actual trace going away into the board because it's broken. Let's just prove that. So if you have a listen, you can hear it there. I'm gonna go onto the center pin just here. And if we go here, you can hear it, but look, it's not here. Yeah? So that outer pin is actually okay here, but can you see this one's broken here as well? So obviously there could be other things wrong with it. I think these ones, I think it's quite common to have the disc fail on it, but the, uh, yeah, that's why it's got no power. I think it's been dropped and this has taken the brake off the fall and it's just snapped this straight off here. So let's get our soldering iron on, solder that up and let's see if it is working. Well, I'm gonna add some flux around here.
And let's add some leaded solder in here. Okay, so then I've soldered up. Let me clean it with some IPA. I think that has to be my quickest fix ever. But that is an honest fix. Let me flash up the eBay listing while I'm cleaning this up. Okay. So there you go, you can see that that's soldered up there now. But while I've got this out here, let's give it a little wipe down because there's quite a bit of dust around this area here. I always like the way that they turn, so you can have it vertical or horizontal. Right, I'm going to put a tiny little bit of grease along the runners here, and I am going to clean up the laser with a bit of IPA and a Q-tip cotton bud. I wonder if there's any voltage left in this battery. Doesn't look like it. So would that be just to save the time, I wonder? Yeah, that looks like dead. Unless uh, CR2, no, they're not rechargeable, are they? No, okay. I'm just gonna eBay that to see if they're available. Right, looking on Google, you can get them for a very reasonable price, £3.50. And there's quite a few different sellers, some are even less. So uh, yeah, they are available. Basically they're just for the clock. So every time you turn it on, you wouldn't have to set the clock if you want the clock. I think probably 99% of people will leave it. And I'm sure the majority of consoles out there probably have this battery dead, but it's nice to know you can change them. I do have 2032 batteries, but not with the wires soldered on. They're just purely the cell. I could probably take that apart and maybe see Thing is, it's going to be welded on. It's going to be uh, welded onto there. So I'm personally going to uh, leave it, but it's nice to know that you can can get them if you uh, if you need them. So all I'm going to do is use this here, tiny little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just going to clean up the laser very gently. And dry it off there. That's all I'm doing there. And I'm going to add some of this here, this Molycoat EM30L. It's a synthetic grease just along these little rails here and just this side as well where the plastic meets the metal. actually quite satisfying to do. Right, okay, let's put this back together.
But I'm going to put the rubber ones at the back and the plastic ones elsewhere. But let's bring it back to the TV. See if it works. Right, here it goes. I haven't done this, so you're going to see the same live result as me. Plug it in there. Is it going to go in? Yeah. And this here. Right, what have we got? We have a red light. Fantastic. Press it. It's gone to green. And something's happening up here. Excellent. Right, let's see if a game's going to work or not. Can hear it spinning up. Is it going to come up with PlayStation? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Right, let me get the camera on the tripod and let's get a game that I can actually uh, play. Yeah, there we go. Big Mother Truckers. That's where it's at. My kids used to love this game, and I'm not lying, me too, because of the well-timed fart just as the guy gets into the truck. I'll see if I can find it. Here it goes. It's this part now. Ready? <laughs> simple things for simple minds. Right, thinking about it, I'm going to get a copyright for this song here, so I'm going to put it on mute, unfortunately. That is it for this video, a nice simple fix. So I think what's happened here is it got dropped and it just shattered that connection at the back there because that's what probably took the weight off it. <laughs> Was it an easy one to fix? Yeah, because really, if there's no power, you're going to instantly think something wrong with the switch or maybe something wrong with the input coming into it. And with the switch here, it should have had a little red light if it wasn't working and it didn't have anything here. So it meant there was no power getting in. And then luckily on this one here, it was so easy to see. You could visually see that the solder joints there had come away from the board. So yeah, a really easy one. But yet the previous person who took it apart didn't see it. So uh, yeah, I suppose easy with a little bit of experience, but not so easy if you've never worked on one of these before or if you've never tried to fix things before in your life. But you can see there a nice simple fix and it appears on this short little test here to be working. So that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very soon, hopefully on something a bit more complex. Take care, everyone. With my mate Fitz Could be hard or it could be a cinch